American Standard's products are diversified from bathroom fixtures to Mercedes brake components and then to air conditioning systems. What is the flagship product in China? I guess when we think about our company, we think we have three flagship products for China because we are basically a company that makes fundamental things for fundamental and real people. In bath and kitchen, you can think about homes as they grow in China, needing more bathrooms, better bathrooms, water conservation in bathrooms, so we're there. Air conditioning as China continues to grow, not only in the homes, but as it builds uh, commercial and industrial buildings, we'll be there both with home air conditioning, but more importantly for us, large commercial air conditioning. And one of the interesting things about China today is there are actually more commercial trucks made in China today than there are in Europe and America. And as the degree of safety built into those trucks and the standards for those trucks continue to grow, our third flagship, which would be WAPCO, will continue to have a, a bright, well-positioned place in China. Uh, how do you think about the white goods uh, appliances here in China? Well, for us, white good appliances is an interesting place, but a place where we don't play. Our, our air conditioning business, which you may think about as a white good appliance, is really a very niche business. It's into condominiums and, 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 and those kinds of things. Uh, the bulk of our air conditioning business is really in the commercial part of our business. So I'm sure there's a competitive world for white goods and air conditioning. In our bath and kitchen business, uh, again, as China continues to grow, as the need for homes continues to grow, my understanding is that in China, you know, what people want to do is own a home and we'll be a part of that home. Well, spring is here and summer is coming. Summer is the season for severe price war. Uh, what is American Standard's strategy in this competition uh, toward reducing corporate debts and increasing market shares? Well, I mean, I think if you look at our, our corporate strategy as far as debt is concerned, about four years ago, five years ago, our corporate debt was about $2.6 billion. We had a target over the last five years to take it down to 1.5. We've succeeded in that strategy, so that's our strategy as far as corporate debt is concerned. Uh, in our bath and kitchen business, we don't really participate in that white goods, competitive, summer special type of thing. We sell our products year round, and so therefore, uh, that push for summer savings probably doesn't affect our business as much as it does the traditional white goods business. Well, you know, in China, uh, the government is encouraging enterprises to save energy because we're facing uh, a lot of challenges here regarding the power consumption and also power shortages. And you'd be surprised that water conservation is not unique to China. There are parts of the United States that have limited water supply and actually those kinds of product innovations that we're, we're leading in are, are valuable in the United States and we're sure will be valuable in China. The other part of conservation I think about is energy conservation. Uh, with the price of oil going up, it looks like it's going to stay up, or the shortage of energy for development, uh, energy conservation is going to be important uh, all over the world and particularly in China. And in our commercial air conditioning business, uh, we think we've engineered a system uh, that is the most ener energy efficient, up to 18% better than other people have. And when I think about China, I can't think of a better place to introduce energy efficiency from the beginning rather than start with inefficient product and later on look to replace it. So for us, uh, water conservation, energy efficiency, and green buildings are an important part of our future and, and an important part of what we do today. Well, you know, when I think about American Standard products, I think about comfort, I think about lifestyle, I think about the enjoyment of life. So what is your philosophy? Enjoy life. Why not? Well, Mr. Postis, thank you very much for joining our Biz China program. Thank you, Rita.